Christina DeVoe with LiveFuturesTalk.com for your Thursday, April 10th weather update. I'm talking about the U.S. weather. Everything I talked about for South America and Europe stands as of yesterday's report. But the U.S. is very interesting right now. A vigorous and dangerous spring storm system will track from the nation's heartland to the Great Lakes by early Saturday, sweeping a strong cold front eastward toward the Appalachians. Ahead of the cold front, severe thunderstorms will gradually shift from the Kansas and central southern Mississippi areas and shift towards the central and southern Mississippi Valley to the southern Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valley, uh, northern Gulf Coast states, southern Appalachians, and Georgia over the next 30 hours. Damaging winds, gusts, and the main threat and the main threat is damaging winds and gusts and hail and several tornadoes are also likely, so watch out for the severe weather. Heavy rains are causing widespread flooding throughout the central and southern Mississippi valleys. Rain totals have locally reached as high as 7 to 8 inches in southern, southern south central Missouri and northern Arkansas. Heavy snow will also develop from the Colorado Rockies through this area to the northern plains into the upper Midwest today, but it should become more likely tonight into Friday. One to three inch rains are, are now moving across the northern Ohio Valley and southern Great Lakes. Snowfall accumulation should top one foot across the central third of Nebraska through much of the South Dakota and Minnesota areas into northern Wisconsin and all, even all the way into upper Michigan. So watch out for this by late Friday. Parts of southern Minnesota and northwest Wisconsin could top two feet by the weekend. Gusty winds will create blizzard conditions at times with considerate blowing and drifting snow. This storm is producing immaculate gusty winds from the four corner states into the western Great Lakes, lower Ohio, Tennessee, River Valley areas, and the northern Gulf Coast states. Winds are gusting occasionally to between 60 and 65 miles an hour across the eastern New Mexico and western Texas area. So watch out for the se severe weather. There's going to be no planting going on during this time. It's just wreaking havoc on the nation's midsection. So watch out for that. This has been your Thursday, April 10th weather update with Christina DeVoe from LiveFuturesTalk.com. We'll see you tomorrow.